time. One more time. My voice is giving out. <coughs> this is going to be the last, okay? I just want to talk about. I want to talk about when. In 1951, we came down from Stanford to race Navy and a bunch of other crews in what we call the Western Sprints here at Lido. And it was very different then. I looked around, I thought, God, what a great place to row. And, uh, and sure enough, 15 years later, I was introduced to the Chancellor at UCI, Dan Aldrich. You went in to introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you went in to introduce oh, yourself. Oh, yeah, no, I, I went in to, to see Dan Aldrich. But I had <laughs> it, uh, and, uh, and I told him what a great place it was to row. And he agreed. And uh, he said, you know, if, if you're so interested in it, why don't you put together a group of people, and whatever money you raise, I'll match it. Now, that's a sport. That's a great, great attitude. I don't want to say, I'll pay for the whole damn thing. That's too easy. I'll match it. So I got on the phone, and I called 15, 20 of my best friends, of whom we have two representatives left. <laughs> John Starr and Frank Jameson. Frank was my coxswain. That's where he and I got to know each other, up at Stanford. John graduated two years later and has had a wonderful career here in Orange County with Latham and Watkins, and retired, I hate to say that, but when I talked to them, after I was, when Fudge agreed to give us that boat, I thought, wow, we're on a roll. <laughs> and so I called Frank, and I called Bill Lund, who was another of the founders, and uh, John, and we each agreed to co-underwrite the new boat. So, in, in you know, like 18 months, we got three beautiful, beautiful new boats. And, uh, and I think the women get a new boat next year. So, so it's, it's a great step to have things like that. And so I'd like to ask for a hand for John and for Frank and for all of you. Essentially, what we did, we built that boathouse, and uh, we got three new, three new uh, boats and a coaching launch, a Boston Whaler, great big barge for fifty thousand dollars. Today, that's what you buy one boat for. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> I have to say one word, Duval. He's a little too self-depreciating. The rest of the story is that when he went in to introduce himself to Dan Aldrich, Dan thought he was some old blue who was coming in to ask for a job. <laughs> well, he was coming in to ask for a job. He asked Don to let him, he at last asked Dan to let him be the unpaid coach of the first crew at Irvine, and this was the year before campus opened for freshmen. He wanted oarsmen on the water to compete other colleges in their very first year at UCI. And that's what happened. So it was a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I remember it distinctly because it was the first time anybody, at that time I was a very poor young lawyer, it was the first time anybody had gotten me to give a thousand dollars to anything. And there it was to the regents of the UC campus. And I was a Stanford alum. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're going to do the thing. We're going to pour the champagne. Okay. And uh, a picture. Yeah, another. <laughs> Uh, should we do it from this side or the other side? Uh, the other side.
Well, I was so impressed when I was up at Washington training for the Olympic Games. They had a boat, well, they had hundreds of boats in that boathouse. But one of the boats was called Loyal Shouting. I never knew whether that was his first name or whether it was because he was a terrific alumni. But when I thought about this boat, it was the Loyal Founders. I love to carry on the tradition. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. Class is dismissed. Yeah.